on this video I'm going to teach you how I teach everyone, my family, my friends, how to ride an electric unicycle. And all of them, they've been able to ride an electric unicycle in 30 minutes, one hour. But you have to follow all the steps that I'm going to tell you in a second. So the first one is obviously you have to punch the fear in the face because think like this, if you are just starting to learn, you are going to go really, really slow. So even if you fall, it's difficult that you are going to really hurt yourself. The second thing is trying to find someone that can help you because all these steps will be much, much easier if you have someone next to you. But we'll go there in a second. And the first thing that I ask to everyone is which hands they use to write. So if you use your right hand, you are going to put your left foot on your electric unicycle. In this moment, it's important that you understand to put your feet on the electric unicycle, it can't be completely straight. So what I'm saying with this is, if you have your left foot on your electric unicycle, you have to bend it to the right, and in that case, the pedal is closer to the floor. So when you have to jump and put the other foot on the electric unicycle, it's so much easier to do it. So in this moment, I teach everyone that your body have to look like a piece of wood. Obviously, the wood, it doesn't bend. It's going to be completely straight, and from your feet, is going to bend forward and backwards. And your hands, I want them completely straight next to your body. So if you have to even grab your trousers, do it. Because in the moment that you open one of the arms, it starts to bend in one of the directions. So that's why in this moment that you don't know how to ride an electric unicycle, you have to minimize the maximum as possible the movement of your body. This moment is important that the person that is going to help you grab you from the inside of your arm. Why not the hand? Because in the moment that you'll give the hand to that person, your body is not once again completely straight. So it's going to affect your riding experience, or in this case, your first steps. Grabbing from the inside of your arm, you are able to be completely straight. Something that happens quite often is you guys, they are quite tense on the shoulders, so just drop your shoulders down, and many times you just push your ass on the back. So if that happens, just push your ass inside and stay completely straight. Another thing that happens quite often is you guys, the first thing that you do is looking to your feet and not looking where you want to go. That job is for the person that is helping you. So they have to look where you are, if it's holes and something like that. So you don't have to concern about that. You just have to focus where you want to go and nothing else. That person that is grabbing you on beneath your arm have to try to balance you. So if that person that is on the electric unicycle is falling to the left, and imagine that person is in that side, that person have to grab you back to that position. If you are falling on top of that person, that person have to just push you back to the vertical position, if it makes sense. And slowly, that person have to slowly release the hand. So it's there, but it's not really grabbing your arm. So when I start feeling that that person is relaxing a bit, I start releasing my hand and trying to reassure that person that I'm basically doing there nothing. But you take your hand for like two seconds, and after, if that person is losing the control, obviously you grab it, but you are always next to the person that is trying to learn the electric unicycle. So that is crucial. So now that you know how to go straight for a couple of seconds without your friend or family grabbing your arm, it's time to learn how to jump off in case that something goes wrong. After a couple of seconds that you are going straight, I take my arm, I count until three, and that person normally jumps with the legs open and try to grab the electric unicycle on beneath. You do that for a couple of times and what you are doing with this is trying once again to punch the fear in the face. So in this moment you already know how to go straight and you have already an idea if something goes wrong I know how to control and jump out of the electric unicycle without any problem. So now you already know how to jump, you know how to go in a straight line and now I want you to understand the limits of the electric unicycle. And when I'm saying that continuing to be completely straight like a piece of wood I want you to understand what is the position when you are accelerating and what is the maximum that you can go backwards when you are braking. And always remember, bending from your feet, not from your ass, okay? So your ass is always locked in place. And in that moment, you are going to try to find a pole or something that you can grab yourself and looking forward, never to the floor, you are going to bend back and forward and always having that pole as a reference. So if it's a small one and you can have your hand on beneath better, but if not, you can grab it like this and just do that because I want you to understand what is the maximum motion that you can give 
to the wheel when you want to accelerate and when you want to brake. Normally I recommend to that person stay doing that for like 10 to 15 minutes and you should be alright. So now that you know the motion of your electric unicycle going back and forth, it's the time to ask to that friend to run with you. What I normally do with everyone that I'm teaching, I'm going to be next to them, grabbing the arm and asking them to accelerate and brake, accelerate and brake, accelerate and brake and do this for a couple of times. What I'm trying is that thing that you just learn grabbing the pole, I want you to feel in a straight line when you are not grabbing anything. And once again, get completely straight, just look forward, don't bend your ass, relax your shoulders and you should be all right and we go to the next step so now is the moment that you normally take a little bit longer that is how to start riding electric unicycle without putting your hands against a wall or grabbing someone and what you have to do like i said the electric unicycle you have to be bending to the side that you are going to put your second foot when you are doing that you are going to basically bend your body almost like 90 degrees in front i want you to be in front of the wheel so you have to look to the wheel and your body have to be going forward in front of your electric unicycle. What you are doing with that is you are going to put more weight on the electric unicycle on the front. So it's going to help you to get that momentum to just start riding it. And you are going to do this for a couple of times. Believe me or not, this is just a trigger. When you learn how to do it, it's really easy and slowly you start to reduce that curve and you start to go basically completely straight to start riding your electric unicycle. So now that you know how to go straight, you know how to start, by yourself now it's time to start to learn how to curve obviously you already start to feel a bit because if you are training in the straight line you go back and forward and your friend have to help you to just turn around to continue to do it but what you are going to do is trying to find a place obviously with a straight line that you can do some marks on the floor or like I teach uh, other persons I take them to a parking slot and we have the marks on the floor and we use them as a reference to do the curves. Slowly you ask them to go until the end and to come back and they start to feel the wheel curving from one side to the other. Slowly you ask that person to do the curves a little bit faster. They can do like the curves until the end and after when they finish that straight line you ask them to accelerate and brake to you. After that what you need to do is teach them how to do circles. You are going to do for one side and after you also have to do to the other side. But you start doing a big one and slowly you try to make it smaller and smaller. And after you slowly you start to make it bigger and bigger, smaller and smaller. And after you do it for the other side, like I said. And why you do that? When you are curving is your foot that you have on the outside that is going to control the motion and you want to make it when smaller is the circle that you want to do less pressure you put it there so I want you to basically control and you have to be a smooth transition so basically this is all the steps that I take with someone that is just starting to learn to ride an electric unicycle and it works besides that I recommend you to always use at least a helmet even if you think that you are going really slow we never know so definitely protect yourself my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one